I just want something so great. I aim for stuff so big that the dream is bigger than the fear. Hi, my name is Anupesh uh, Javed. Childhood for me was something which I always remember for life. I was a very naughty brat, however, very focused in life. My grandfather was the man who actually spent the first five years of my life every day with me. Education in the US for four years was bringing up my personality, bringing me up as an individual. I had no ambitions to settle in the US. I came back. So my biggest enemy was my father when I was applying for a job because fortunately everybody knew him when I said, you know, I'm Shamli Jaman's son. So I did land up in working in ESPN two days, my first job as a marketing executive. But I remember that evening when I came back home, I went back to him and I said, why am I spending 10 hours working for somebody getting up at 9.30? He says, because I think you will treat your companies as your father's company. I said, fine, just give me an opportunity, you know, give me that chance. And if you think I'm not able to fulfill it, then fine. Let me, uh, you know, ask me to get lost. So I remember I was the first person in the company who used to come and sign every day at 9.25, you know, to mark my attendance that I was there on time. When I came in the business, um, you know, for me, it was first take this identity of being my grandfather's grandson and my father's son. That is something which was the first objective I had was to build my own name and brand. I had to make that mark and obviously I wasn't welcomed by many. I was used to sit at the counter. I issued tickets by myself with my own hands. In those days, those tickets were those handwritten tickets. I stood at the visa lines myself at five in the morning to learn how the process works. I think I started from ground level. And I, probably that's the reason today my colleagues also respect me, you know, for what I am, not because I was his son. This is something which I learned from my father. I remember he told me once, if you're falling off the cliff, I will pull you back. Till then, take your decisions because this is how you will learn. You will definitely fall, but you will co come back stronger. And I remember my first meeting in 2001 in Lufthansa when all these big consolidators were in the room. He said, go. I said, what? He says, just go, don't worry. If you don't understand anything, just sit quiet and learn. So when I entered that meeting room, so these six, seven big boys of Delhi in those days were sitting and they were shocked to see me. And, and I think the same guys who I call uncle today call me, so I think things have changed. I decided to drop my MBA. I, it was about 23 and a half. I was too bored in life. So I told my father, get me married. But I think that was a cautious decision. And I'm blessed with these two lovely kids. I'm married for 17 years now and I have a fabulous wife. I love to meet my friends. I think they're my biggest de-stressors. I play cricket at least twice a week because it's me on the pitch. That takes me away from everything else in this world. So I'm a very people's man. I think I'm a big social bird. And that's something which uh, it's still pretty strong at the age of 42. I'm a mixture of my grandfather and father. There are strengths which my grandfather had and there are some super strengths my father has. My grandfather was most of a commercial people's man, sales oriented. My father is a number man. He's the guy who made the money. He's the financial uh, wizard, as I say. I love to live life. Live life king size. But for that, you have you need to have the money. And God has been kind. So I love to dress up well. I love to live well. I'm proud today people do say you're a pioneer in the B2B space. Uh, but I still believe I'm very young, still in the game. So keep, you know, keep building, you know, make your mark. So when you retire, people call you as a legend.